We got the deals for you. Listen up. I got deals for you. You like rotiform wheels? You want to win rotiform wheels? Then you all you have to do is pick up this shirt. Bring it here. If you check out the rotiform shirt, super dope design. And then we got a really cool hat. All you have to do is buy that. Then you can get entered to win rotiform wheels. They're super nice and they're super cool. All you have to do is buy the apparel. Go check out fitministries.com. Recording? Sure. Lamborghini started out making tractors, which gives me hope that John Deere will soon announce its supercar division. Lamborghini's first car, the 350 GTV, was shown to the world in 1963. This is also the same year Michael Jordan was born. Michael Jordan played for the Bulls and Lamborghini, Lamborghini has a bull, so. This is the In 1968, Lamborghini was sold to Volkswagen. V-dub in the house, yeah. Remember those commercials? No? All right. Now, the Fettuccine Lamborghini Huracan came onto the scene in 2014. Huracan is Spanish for hurricane. Why Lamborghini wanted to name a car after a storm with a violent wind is beyond me. I don't know. Volkswagen back naming more stuff after wind. <laughs> I'll show you some violent wind right after I'm done eating some tacos. <laughs> the 2015 Linguini Huracan had an original MSRP of $240,000. Using advanced software and extreme mathematical equations, I was able to come to the conclusion that you could get 101,255 beefy five layer burritos from Tortellini Bell. These cars break your neck, but are they worth breaking the bank? Today we sit down with an owner, my boss, and have a good old chat. Driver to- Sir, your call is very important to us. The driver. All right, welcome back to another episode of Driver to Driver. Today we got a big one. Today, this one's been waiting for a long time. We got, uh, we got the boss man here. He's trying to figure out his mic. Feel free to come on whenever, Sean, come, come check it out. Sit in the nice chair we got for you. Hmm. Welcome to season two. How you feel? I feel good. I didn't even watch the first season. So Are you nervous? Did it go well? Yeah, the first season went real well. Yeah, I mean, you kind of look like a hockey player. I am. I am a hockey player. Dirty dangles. Put it in the five hole and have a good celly. Did your hairline start receding oh, before or after? You see, this is the why Porsche. I'm so very glad that I asked. All right. You're am I nervous? nervous? Yeah, yeah. I think you'd be surprised at how little I know. Okay, I'm nervous. But let's not beat around the bush. How much did you pay for that uh, Volkswagen with a 12 degree angled windshield? Uh, 185,000. It was used, so I got a deal. A deal? You paid like $303 per horsepower on that thing. Lamborghinis don't do horsepowers. That's true, it's in the math. Uh, I mean, so your daily driver is more expensive than my house. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I don't feel bad. Okay, all right, I don't want you to feel bad about it, but so, my main question here is, are you ever gonna put Lambo doors on it? Ah, uh, there's a thing about that. Yeah. I, I bought the Gallardo first, mm -hmm. and so many little kids made fun of me, and they would- <laughs> Wait, little kids made fun of you for having a Lamborghini? Yeah, they oh. would come up with their parents, and they'd say, you know, is that a, a real Lamborghini? i say, yep. i say, you wanna see inside? And I would open the door, uh -huh. and they would just, it would be a oh. <laughs> they, and, and then they're like that's then that's not a Lamborghini they could not believe that it didn't have the doors I mean so like, I got rid of that car right away yeah I mean getting a Lamborghini without Lambo doors is like getting a Lunchable a pizza Lunchable and you don't get the little crunch bar inside you know what I mean it is till you drive a Huracan oh so you're saying the way it drives makes up for the doors by far okay What's the Lamborghini community like? Is it old and retired or young and debt? I actually refuse to hang out with other Lamborghini owners because they're stuck up rich dudes. Holy cow. So I was wondering, is there like any Lamborghini owner Facebook pages where like they ask what color wheels should go on it or what oil to use or anything like that? Yeah, there's a bunch of them, but it's more so the oil question. Yeah. Because it's a sin to change the wheels and stuff, which is oh. why I don't fit in. Uh, yeah. But you, you change them. Mm -hmm. You don't care? I didn't tell the page. That's good. They ever, they'd be out for blood. All right, that's enough out of me. Let's hear from our extremely cool and loyal YouTube community. <music> You're gonna hear from the people now. You ready for this? All right, Oscar, Oscar Tajura asks, how many times has it broken down and how is Lamborghini customer service? 
Um, my guard I had for two years never ever broke anything ever. Man, I, I just kept that one. changed the oil. Um, then I, I also have an Aventador. That one always has problems. Really? Lamborghini service is awesome in Dallas. I don't trust anyone local okay. here in Wisconsin or Is Illinois. there <clears throat> Wisconsin Lamborghini? There is none in Wisconsin. Okay. The one yeah. is down in Illinois that I don't mess with. Yeah, we mostly drive like tractors and stuff up here. You should got a Lamborghini tractor. I tried. What happened? They're surprisingly hard to get. No There's doors. none in the U.S. None in the U.S.? Yeah. You should import it. If anybody knows of one, please insert link and then you tell me how, where the link is. Okay. Or just email it. Description. Oh, okay. Email Sean if you have a Lamborghini tractor, he'll buy it. Hexotics wants to know, when you get gapped by a sleeper, what's your first thought? I wasn't racing. Oh. Have you ever lost a race in a Lamborghini? I don't know. I've never raced because I don't want to get gapped by a Subaru. <laughs> That's I, fair. I think people are confused thinking Lamborghini, you get a Lamborghini because it's fast. Yeah. You get a Lamborghini because everybody does this when you go by. <laughs> That's your favorite part? Favorite part. And the little kids will yeah. stop and then I pull into their driveway and they just completely lose their <laughs> run in the house because they're so scared. Damn. They can't believe the car pulled in. And then you open the door and they're like, oh. It's not even the... I don't open the door anymore because oh, I can't handle that. You just stay in the car. Yeah. That's a good idea. KM wants to back it up, Terry, and ask, how hard is it to see out the back window of a Huracan? A Huracan's pretty good. You can kind of guess at where you're at. Guess? Does it have a backup camera? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I use that. Good, good. But the, the blind spots aren't too bad? No. It's... If you've ever been in a CTSV coupe, yeah. I say it's pretty much identical. Okay. The Aventador is horrible. The Aventador, you just listen for crunching. So is that why you daily drive the Huracan? Yes, and I don't drive More the driving. Aventador. Interesting. After I've driven the Huracan, I don't think I'll ever drive an Aventador again. Why do you keep I, it? That's a fair question. Okay. All right, moving forward, Michael Hickey says, you know what isn't gorgeous? Tire lettering on a Huracan. <laughs> this isn't a clapped out Honda and it isn't need for speed. You know, kids don't get history they and don't have any culture tire letters i don't know if you've looked at that car they were mad that i put silver and chrome wheels on it yeah, they were yeah. mad that i put mustang ferratas on it they were mad that oh, i yeah. put tire letters mm -hmm. i look at that car and i think miami vice aviators 40 some year old dude i feel like you need to be driving like an 80s corvette <laughs> it, Not it, kind a of is. it is in a way well so the engines and bag the so doors the are the same so is a corvette well, let's see. Try to keep up. You see eight? Okay. Naimaka asks, do you ever feel like Batman? How do they ask these questions if it's happening now and that? We post on YouTube community beforehand. We want to oh. get their questions. This isn't a live feed, Sean. I it's thought a this paper. was like Spaceballs when they're like, is now now or was then now? <laughs> no. This what was the question? I totally feed. lost it. Do you ever feel like Batman? I, yeah, every time I drive it. That's a, that's a good selling point. Yeah, it, it, it. You can't explain how it feels to drive that car. I wouldn't know. I drive a Focus. I could imagine how that feels. Yeah, probably no more. No offense to your viewers. I understand no, there's a bunch yeah, of you. It's more like uh, in debt on a Focus, that's how I feel. I don't feel like a superhero when I drive it. You know it's what I mean? It's a Focus. How could you feel like a superhero? That's what I'm saying. Oh. The doors don't even go up. So actually, it's kind of the same. Maybe I should think about feeling like Batman the next time I drive it. Martel Renteria wants to know, what's the cost of insurance for a Lamborghini? Um, if you're an adult over the age of 25, mm. it's super reasonable. Really? I pay I um, $1,200 a year for the Huracan. That's not bad at all. 100 bucks a month. And I think the Gallardo was about the same. Dang, I wouldn't have expected that at all. I would have thought it was expensive as hell. And then they give you a loan for 10 years, so it's only a thousand bucks a month for my Gallardo. I suppose 000. they know, like Lamborghini drivers, they just don't drive the car half the time they park it for Well, and if life. you crash it and just break the bumper or something, yeah. you're not going to report that because then it's on the Carfax. Yeah. So you're just going to pay to get it fixed and not tell anybody, even including your friends and family, and then so that you won't make an insurance claim. Lamborghini owners, they're some sketchy dudes. That's enough out of the YouTube community. So what do you all have done to that house? I mean, Lamborghini. <laughs> I like that. This is pretty expensive. I can't remember what you said though. It's a house. How much uh, you have done to it? Um, Lamborghini. I, it came with a uh, lowered suspension. I think HR 
is HR a thing? H&R? H&R. That's a, or Novatech? Is Novatech suspension? suspension? Novatech? I've never heard of that. No, that Novatech. sounds like some expensive Novatech. suspension that goes on Lamborghinis and doesn't go on Ford Focus. And it also has the exhaust, which is, I think, Novatech, if that's a thing. Okay. It came with that, and then it's got a carbon fiber rear diffuser. And then I did the um, Borsteiner front race fenders with mm. the vents. Mm -hmm and custom paint to match. And then I did the Ferrata FR3 wheels, tires, lots of spacers because they didn't fit at all. And tired letters, I did those. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know about tire letters. I made everyone mad. Why? Why? I don't, I, th I think it's just cheesy. You guys are wearing coats that my grandpa wore. There's nothing bad about that. You're making fun of bringing back tire letters this from is, the you 90s. Don't, see, one thing you don't understand, Sean, is heritage and where this coat has been and what it's been through. So tire stickers. So I would not compare this jacket to tire stickers. And then I've got the rear spoiler, Vorsteiner, yep. carbon fiber, and I think that's it. <laughs> what about the custom Bahama oh, Blue Calipers? Bahama Blue Calipers. What do you think about that? Bringing the Tiffany blue back. It is not Tiffany I blue. I mean, it's very right there. clear that it's That's it's blue. actually the uh, vinyl color Key West from mm -hmm. 3M Vinyl. We color matched it with powder coat, I'm sure. Gotcha. Maybe paint. I don't know, whatever caliper paint is. Powder coat, caliper paint. So out of all that, we have, we have a couple things to address. First of all, your, your daily is more expensive than my house. That's one thing. But your winter wheels that you said you had on it, which are the uh, Rohana RFX 11s. Uh, those are pr about as expensive as my summer wheels. So I feel like I'm just, I need help here. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. What issues have you had with it? Um, the lift system is self-selective. So sometimes when you hit the front end is made to raise two inches to get yeah. in and out of driveways, which still doesn't help when you're lowered it drags on everything uh -huh. and then uh it will sometimes not go back down so you simply have to go forward hammer on the brake while it's trying to come down to, to coax it which doesn't look at all like you got <laughs> so you something floor it slam on the brake so it'll lower itself and then back again? up and tap the brake yeah you're just it, it's stuck so uh, you can when you're driving it's fine it's when you're trying to park and lower it, it it's getting hung up probably on that aftermarket suspension i don't know what it is that could be that seems a little scary. I have airlift. I googled and... it, and I'm the only one. So. Okay, I was gonna say because I have never had issues with my air. I don't slam there on my brakes. There is nobody that my doesn't car. have issues with airlift. I don't have issues. Okay, I've Where... had it for three years. Where's your car at? It's in the garage. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Issues <laughs> it's not if... broke. I wouldn't have issues if I didn't drive my car oh, either. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm just imagining you know, the first time you can't get the thing down. You're getting really pissed, so you just floored it and slammed on the brakes, and all of a sudden it started to lower. And that's, it was way worse. That's just than been that. your remedy. It was way worse than that. What happened? So I hit the down button, and it looked like it was going to go, and then it just put up the red indicator saying airlift failure. Nice. So I hit it again, and then it went back up, and I hit it again, and it said airlift failure. <laughs> and I did that seven or eight times, and I just gave up and went inside, and that went on for a couple months. <laughs> Because it was sporadic. I couldn't figure out when it was not doing it, and it was when I was not moving. So then I learned all you have to do is be moving. So if you plan ahead, you hit it before you park. Yeah. If you forget, then you're the guy in the parking spot doing this at Walmart. <laughs> you take the Lamborghini to Walmart and try to park it? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, all right, that's good. You pick up groceries in that thing? Not much, just a couple items. That's good. Milk? No, nobody drinks milk anymore. All righty. Do you have any advice for someone that wants to buy a house? Hurricane. Hurricane I, house. First of all, you'd have to sell your house probably. Yep. 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 You That's can't have a house start. and a hurricane. Um, well, you can race a car, but you can't race a house. Yeah. Unless you have a Lamborghini, then you don't race it because you don't want to get gapped by a Subaru. In those forums that I don't go on, that's the most popular question. And I used to go on those forums and ask that question. The bottom line is you have to own your own business because you have to have unlimited potential of income. Mm. Because if you have a set income and you have to take that income and take off 2000 a month for the Lambo payment, just doing that math usually will cause somebody to not buy one. Sure. Now, if you have a business and you're spending like 50000 a month on bills and stuff, you're like, what's another two grand off of my income because your income is the business income. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like a lot of money. You have to have, yeah. Credit cards. No, don't do it Loans. with credit cards. Do it with a 10-year loan. Banks give money. 10-year loan. Here's the good news. Okay. If you can come up with a down payment of 20%. That's a lot on a Lamborghini. 
and you only drive it when you really want to, mm -hmm. like your focus. Yeah, well. Yeah. When there's a huge show and you want everybody to know you've got a focus. Yeah. If you only drive it then, you won't rack up the miles. Mm -hmm. And when you go to sell it, it will be worth a good amount of what you paid for it if you're buying a used one. Like, let's do the Gallardo. I bought it mm -hmm. for 100. Yep. I sold it for 85. So I was out 15,000 and I had it for two years. That's terrible. No, I drove that car for 700 bucks a month. I guess, but you lost 15 what grand. Do you pay, what do you pay a month on your Focus? Uh, I pay 300 bucks. So for twice that, I drove a Lamborghini and you drive a Focus. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't afford twice that. That's why I drive a Focus. You could if you didn't have your house. You keep talking about this house. <laughs> I, I need somewhere to sleep, so I can't sleep. I can barely get in the Lamborghini. I can barely get out of it. Stradman slept in his Lamborghini, just saying. Did he? Yeah. That's impressive, but I'm not Stradman. I probably weigh 100 pounds. No, he's got like eight Lamborghinis. Maybe you just need more viewers and more watch time. And then I can get a Lamborghini? Stradman did. You heard it. If this gets a bunch of views, Sean's buying me a Lamborghini. That about wraps this episode up. Thank you for Wheels, Tires, Suspension, Film Industries.com. Why do you have to do that? So people know where the road from is there. No, the dang. You might have missed it. You could win rotiforms for your car. You oh, picked up some merch. I tried to get rotiforms for my car. What happened? They didn't have anything on the shelf, and I wanted them now. Oh, so you just went with the Ferrari wheels? I'm getting rotiforms for the Aventador. But you don't drive that, though. You don't drive your Focus, don't you have rotiforms? I drive the Focus. You didn't have rotiforms, do you? I did on my Wagoon. What did you call me? Where is he? Have you gentlemen seen Sean Chartier? He's right there. Where? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Hey, you try to get away without getting your parting gift for being on Driver or Driver Season 2. I get a gift? Yeah, NASCAR Chase for the Cup 2005. Since you don't drive the Lamborghini fast, so you can drive fast in there. You don't have an Xbox? That's the old one. I'll ask my kid. There you go. All right. Have a good night. <laughs>